Now, I've been very interested in vitamin D as an immunomodulator. There are so many studies now of vitamin D and lupus. I did the very large cohort study, but there's also now a randomized clinical trial proving that vitamin D supplementation reduces lupus disease activity. Now, what I showed was that our goal for supplementing vitamin D should be to achieve a 25 hydroxy vitamin D level of 40 nanograms per ml. Just pay attention to the left hand part of this slide. The right hand part of the slide shows that getting higher than 40 nanograms per ml does not increase the benefit. So we can do this very safely. And my cohort study showed that achieving that 40 nanogram per ml goal meant a reduction in disease activity, and in particular, a reduction in the urine protein. How do we achieve this? I usually get 50,000 international units once a week, but in an overweight patient, you're likely gonna need 50,000 units twice a week. I do frequently check for adherence. If the patient stops taking it, her vitamin D level will plummet very quickly. Now, I've gotten interested in vitamin D, not just as an immunomodulator. It turns out that vitamin D may be antifibrotic. Antifibrotic in the lung, but also in the kidney. So I think there's gonna be greater interest in vitamin D as the years go by for many reasons in lupus. In addition to its antifibrotic role, vitamin D likely has cardiovascular hemologic benefits as well. So for example, in our lupus cohort, we've been able to show that vitamin D helps to lower blood pressure, systolic blood pressure. But there are so many studies of the benefit of vitamin D in reducing thrombosis. And this actually includes a randomized clinical trial that was done in cancer. We know that vitamin D likely has a benefit in patients with antiphosphate antibodies. It actually reduces tissue factor expression. Tissue factor, as you remember from medical school, sort of starts out the coagulation cascade. Vitamin D tends to be lower in patients with antiphospholipid antibodies and lower in those who've had a thrombotic event. So this is something easy we can do. Now remember, hydroxychloroquine also reduces thrombosis. So here, if we have our lupus patient on both hydroxychloroquine and vitamin D, we have her on two very safe therapies that will help to prevent thrombosis.